I'm leaving the mine route. I'm on this busy road. It's the end of the mine route now. I've got to walk along a bit of a road. It can be very fast here. So I just wait till that car goes by. And then there's a very there's a fast lorry van coming. There's always gonna be something coming here, you just gotta risk it. Tell the truth, but I'll let this one go by. I'll be walking along the top there in a minute. There's always something coming, but you can get up on the grass. There's a bike coming. In a minute, I'm going to have to have my chocolate. Here's a bike coming. Oh, God, you weren't going to speak, was it? Yeah, there'll be, there's a stile a bit long. We just go past a few houses, which I want to do as well. I want to walk past these. If I'd come out where the um, club is, I wouldn't have passed these, you see. Mineries, it's called the Mineries, that one as well. Look. Fitting, isn't it? That's very fitting. Very fitting, indeed. When I get to the gate, I'm going to eat my chocolate. I'm going to put the camera down. I'm doing this bit of road because I'll tell you what, you people need to know that I do sometimes have to do stretches. And sometimes they need to know it's not all, it's not all good, the walk. But I do tend to try and present the best of the walks. I do really. Um, there's some sort of post there I haven't really seen before. I don't know what that is. That's probably pointing to, oh yes it is. That's rather nice. I'm going to go over to that. There's the straight road. This is to do with the, um, the club, the caving club. And they've got a bat. Yeah, they've got a bat because they're cavers. They put the bat there. It might have always been there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when I'll do this again. I don't know when I'll do this again. So it's going to be water and chocolate in a minute. We get up into this car, we'll be getting into the the start of the field walks. And I've got to really put my foot down. So, I don't know if I'm going to put the camera away or not. I've got to check the time. Because I've got I've not only got to walk across the fields, I've got Ever Gorge to walk down. And then I've got to walk to Wookie and then to Wells. And time suddenly goes fast. There's this little cottage. I love this little cottage. Yeah, there's a lot of bikers about. Glenview, they call it. Lovely stone cottage. The white cottage is on the end there. You can see the white cottage from the barrows. Which we might see again in a minute. Yeah, you can see the barrows. If I just home in up the top there. You can just see the barrows on the top, look. See? You can just see them. And the water feature. I was up there a minute ago. Glad I done it. I'll be crossing over very soon. We just got to pass a little white cottage, which I'm also videoing. There come a time when I will never come out here, aren't there? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. My legs are strong. My lungs have.
Yeah, there's a good view now. Across there, look. That's the barrows up there. And I walked down, of course, through the mineries. Right. Folks, I will Over not now. be doing a lot of videoing. This section of the walk was done earlier in the year when I didn't have time to do the barrows. And I had to rush this bit, I remember. I really had to rush, and I've got to rush today. I've got no idea if there's going to be cows either. Okay? So, I won't be doing a lot of videoing. So there's this Wells Aerial Mast. Stockton Wood there. I've just come out from over there and walked. Another quick video. I'm on a march everyone because of the lack of time. Like I said, I did this, these fields earlier in the year. Today I had to give the barrows a priority where there was no rushing and no marching. But on this part, I am actually having to speed up because there's a long way to go and I cannot miss the last bus. All right. Cannot miss the last bus, but here we are out in the beautiful countryside. The grass is along, the sky is blue, the sheep in the fields, and I'm not feeling blue myself. I'm really enjoying it. The camera's charging up as I go along. It's hard to hold the camera still with the battery charger and walk at a pace. But I'm doing what I can. So some of it is recorded. This is something like the fourth or fifth field I'm going through. I think it's the fourth. We're coming up to the fifth now, but it could it could be there are six fields I've got to go through. And then we no, I'm not quite sure if the, we're coming up to the drove. I always forget this bit. I always think there's another field, actually, which I always forget about. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I always forget there is a bit more. So here we've got a stone style. And of course there is a parallel road further over there that I often use as well. So that's a lovely scene, isn't it? Let me take a picture. Right, Kodak's playing up again, folks. I'm having to use video with the Sony to do with my beautiful style. It says for chip, love MH4. Um, not CH4. What I'm going to do, it's got a beautiful little inscription on it. The camera's decided to pack up so I can only use a video. Let's get this inscription on. That's just lovely. Smile on you crazy diamond. I love that. I love that. It's beautiful like this. Right folks, right. The main camera's decided to have a rest. So I can't take any long shots. I can't use uh, pictures with this camera. So basically I'm just going to do a small video. I've packed the big camera away now. We are in a bit of a rush anyway. Uh, Gus, Gusmary tour over there. Uh, it would have come out with the with the Kodak. Um, I can't see any cows. We're, we've got to do a bit of marching still. We've crossed seven fields after leaving the mineries. I crossed seven fields. We are fortunate, no cows. Uh, 
I'm now heading for, I could have done it slightly quick, quicker and gone through the farm, but I do like passing that stile. Yes, it is recording. So like I said, Glastonbury's right over there. Um, I might be able to zoom into it, but I won't be able to see. But it might turn out, I've got no idea. It's over there somewhere. Anyway, folks, I've got to really speed up now. I haven't checked the time again, but it was five to three the last time I checked. That was at the start of the Seven Fields walk. So you can imagine an hour might have gone. Um, I've also got to walk down the gorge, walk through Wookie Hole, and it's all got to be done at a march in order to fit it in today. My, good job my breathing has improved. I've just seen some cow pat. The cows are probably around, but they could be like down bottom like they were before when I came through here. Uh, they were down, down in the valley. So I've got to, I've got to put a march on. But I'm just recording a bit of it. Even if it is a bit rushed, everyone. There's the Somerset levels all the way along there. The Vale of Avalon with Glastonbury there. Oh, looking very beautiful. Bristol Channel right out. Quantock Hills right over. I've had a bar of chocolate, a banana, a cake, a piece of cheese and a pickled onion. I've still got some cheese, some um, cheeselets, orange, um, still got sweets, I've got, still got a bag of nuts in my pocket, but the idea now is to really move on to get to Wookie. Really to move on. As Wells is down there, I gotta get down there. So I've got to go this way first and then down. There is probably a quick way, which I don't know about, where you can go straight down through the fields. It's a pity I don't know that route, really. There was one I did before. I used to, I went down that way. But the thing is, I've forgotten it. And that was probably quicker than coming the way I'm coming. But because I haven't done it for a while, I can't afford now to have to concentrate on directions. I need to know where I'm going and put on speed. So that's what I'm doing. Putting on speed. I'm going to turn off now after this style. I'm turning off until I get to Gorge. Cows up in here. They could be up there. I might not have escaped them yet. Over and out for now. Right. I'm, I'm relying on somebody else giving me some instructions. Go across the field. I bet you I'll see cows. I bet you anything. This looks like the path they've done it. Sent me the wrong way. I don't know, I'm cut getting back up there. There's a big gorge there, I reckon it would come down through there. I haven't gone on my usual way down the steps. They never said, I thought they said turn right, but I'm actually coming down. Hey Jeff, this is the right way. And I could meet cows yet. I don't 
don't want to get lost. There's an arrow. There's an arrow. Now where? Where do I go now? Oh, I've gone the wrong way, don't you? I don't know where I am. I should have gone the other way. You can't go back up. There's no time. You can't go back up. Didn't they say turn right? There's cows. There's cows. I'm going down here. That's all I know. I'm sure she said turn right. By Ever Gorge. It was a quicker way. But there were cows. I was I could have been put at risk. There were cows. It actually was quicker for me to come this way. I'm almost at Wookie now. There's the the route I normally take down there. I'm sure they said turn right. Um in the end I just thought I'd keep going downhill I, I ran in the end and back there there was a huge herd of cows a massive herd if I'd gone right I would have ended right up in this is the better way it's probably quicker and I did a bit of fartlek jogging as well but I did have a moment of panic because when, whenever I listen to people, and they, they never always give you the right instructions, there was rights and lefts, you know, it's, it's muddly. And cause, because people know this route, you, we all do it. We forget that people need to know some of the smaller details. It's actually quicker than going, than if I'd gone down. If I was going down now, I'd still be going down the steps because they're steep, windy, and dodgy. I've actually got here probably, I'd say, quarter of an hour, if not 20 minutes quicker. I was able to run through that field. Fortunately, the cows were somewhere else. Fortunately. There's horses in this field. And I get down onto the drove now. I don't normally come up here because I know there are horses. This would take me down onto the long drove. Like I said, I'd still be doing the footpath now. I'd still be doing the steps coming down through the gorge. So I've got can't take any photos. I was taking some, it seemed to work all right in the dark. Oh. Wow, that was a bit nerve wracking. So there is a way up, but <laughs> cows. Yeah, being able to run, I would say quarter of an hour, 20 minutes ahead of what I would have been going down the steps. The steps would have taken me a long time and it would have been very uncomfortable on my knees and my feet. As it is, we're almost at the little cottage now and the road into Wookie and we can check the time. we still got a way to go yet. We've got to go up out of Wookie, down past the Blue School I don't care if I'm an hour early for the next bus, it don't matter. So normally I would go, be coming out of that way, but I don't think I'd be anywhere near me yet. So meeting those people was probably, they did give me a few signs that I would get to this cottage, so. But I got a feeling you do turn right and then you meet up on the track further back. That seemed all right to me. 
So here we are folks, we're at the little cottage. I haven't looked at the time. I said I wouldn't look at it till I got down the steps, but as it is, I got down through the fields. Had to do a bit of running. <laughs> oh dear, I had to. Wookie Hole, here we are. And this is Elm Elm Batch White Cottage. There's Wookie Hole. And now all we gotta do is carefully walk through the village. I'm gonna turn off for a little while. Right, there we go, Wookie Hole. We can walk through. Very quiet, isn't it? Very quiet. Can't even buy a drink, but it's all shut. I don't know if it's open. Oh, might another door. 